What is down on guys? My name is Joe Mills, welcome back to another video. In this episode, we're gonna be looking at another tool from the guys over at Evolution. This is their cordless reciprocating saw, uh, which I haven't even had out of the box yet. And they were kind enough to also send me the beast of an eight amp hour battery uh, that I do need to charge for the demo of this. But we got the two amp, the four amp, the four amp again, and an eight amp hour battery, which just needs a charge. The charger has a built-in fan. How cool is that? <laughs> I haven't even had this out the box yet. So we're gonna do it after we've had a little look of exactly what's included. Now the battery came separate for me. I'm not sure whether or not this will come with a battery for you, but I'll leave a link down below in the description if you'd like to check it out. So what have we got? We've got a manual. So we've got two blades in here multi-purpose and thin steel. So we've got one long one for, I guess, everything, a one blade, and uh, and one specifically for, for steel as well. So getting into the actual unit. Wow, that looks awesome. Check it out. So this is the R150 RCP lithium iron. Um, I did just check the box and I found an Allen key. So uh, yeah, that was pretty lucky. I didn't just throw that out of the way. <laughs> now, one reason I wanted a reciprocating saw was for breaking down pallets. Now it's not at all, in my opinion, that I feel every woodworker has. Now I've never had one before. I've only ever borrowed them from friends and family uh, quite a few years ago, to be fair. Um, and ones that were, you know, on the mains, you know, not cordless that's for sure and they've always been sort of the old school generation that seems to have them now i think that they're very useful tools especially for breaking down pallets because you can you know cut between the slats especially if you've got a blade that would cut through metal and wood and you can basically just take the slats off whole now obviously you're going to have nails in the wood but if you've got any other sort of let's just use evolution again as an example <laughs> cutting equipment all evolution saws actually have um, the option for blades that just cut through everything. So, sorry, I got really excited then. <laughs> I'm gonna get the blade in here. We'll see how complicated that is. And um, we'll go from there. It looks like we just twist that, hold that in position insert our blade no it can't be that straightforward let me just do that again so that's spring loaded that's got a very hefty spring in there insert our blade and then gently release and that's it wow what's the allen key for i'm just going to find that bit out as well so second cup of tea and a quick read through the manual says that it is actually as simple and straightforward as what I've just done. It's important that the hole in the tang of the blade engages with the spigot located inside the blade holder. So yeah, dead easy to use. All that really means is there's a hole on the end of the blade here and I guess like a pin on the inside of that component there. And you just wanna make sure when you push it in and you let it go, that you can feel it connect in that hole. How straightforward is that? Now this tool works with the entire range of Evolution's batteries. The Allen key is for the underside of the tool so that you can, I'll do it this way around so I don't catch my fingers. You can basically expand, you know, you can release the, the fence guard so it lines up with whatever you're trying to cut. And that is as well, adjustable forwards and backwards so you can get you know a flush edge up against whatever you're cutting so yeah nice little touch ah, sod it we're gonna go with the eight amp hour battery for this one guys nice and then we've got a safety switch here which is on both sides of the handle so the trigger won't go unless that's pressed and held um, let's have a go
Yeah, that feels really good. <laughs> Does it stand up? Ah, oh. no. Yes. <laughs> so this is a pallet that I've been storing in my workshop for about two years now. And this is a, a box that I made uh, for the wife, just to put a bottle of wine in. Ended up turning it into something completely different, but look at the grain of the wood on the side there and on the lid. This came from this very same pallet. And all I've done is just added a little bit of walnut oil on there. But I think that grain is absolutely beautiful. Now, while trying to split this pallet, um, you know, just old school method of crowbar and hammer, I've managed to split one of the boards here and that's a shame. So, like I say, I think these tools are just a little bit underrated and they're not in every woodworker's arsenal of tools. Um, but I'm very pleased to have one in mind because what this is going to allow us to do is rather than split this gorgeous wood of which I don't even know what it is. I need to find out if anyone knows <laughs> just based on the grain of the box, then do let me know. But yes, yeah, a very hard, there you go, durable, but just a beautiful wood. It's just really, really nice. That's just an end piece just to show you guys the grain. Now, what I'm going to do is clamp this down to our workbench and we're going to see how easily this reciprocating saw will cut through the nails, which will release the boards a lot easier and allow us to just run them through our R255 or our R210 miter saw and just clean up the ends with the nails in, meaning that we won't get breakages like that. So. Another cool feature about these tools is you can see how much battery you've got on the actual battery. Now that was more like it. Guys, I think what was happening is I was actually, yeah, I was actually going straight into the wood. This is really, really hard wood. Here guys, but this one I managed to go through just the nails alone. And um, what a clean breakthrough. Let's flip this round and uh, release all the boards. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. See, now that was the split board. Had I tried to you know, continue taking that off with a crowbar and a hammer, that would have split, but I can save that. I can just cut it off there, cut it off at the other end where the nails were, and we've got a usable piece of wood, potentially, for another box. Super easy. Just saved ourselves a decent bit of pallet with there. And a hardwood at that. Awesome. Now it kind of goes without saying, guys, but I'm really impressed with that. There's not even a jagged bit of, of nail sticking out of that. That is as smooth as I think you'll ever get. And here we are, we've got some usable wood get in super super happy with this tool guys <laughs> it's gonna save a lot of pallets from being burnt unnecessarily and um the place where i get my pallets from have about a hundred currently there at the moment and this tool is gonna be well it, it's gonna have a really well used life let's put it like that so we're saving the world one pallet at a time that's what we're doing yeah we are saving the world one pallet at a time thanks to well, me going and doing it <laughs> and evolution for supplying the tools so yeah we've got some really good quality usable wood here and again if anyone knows what this is then please tell me down below in the comments because outside of it being a hardwood i've no idea but yeah beautiful it smells really good as well mm.
Thank you.